what is going on beautiful people it is your girl kiana and welcome back to another video so we're in the full full-fledged swing of fall season okay and i love it i'm soaking it all in i'm soaking it all in we're getting hit with sales left and right we got the holiday commercials coming hun i am warm and cozy up in my crib and i love it okay sweater weather yes to die for needless to say Needless to say, you all knew that this video was going to come. I am going to bring you my top 10 fine fragrance mists from Bath & Body Works that I love to wear in fall, some of which are kind of newer to my collection, so I've been favoring these a little bit more. Of course, it wouldn't be me if I sat up here and told you that I'm only going to stay true to these 10. No, 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 ma'am, no bono, no bono. I have several other fragrances that I am definitely going to take a deeper dive in. I have mentioned those fragrances here before on my channel, so I did not want to repeat that in this video. But I am going to share with you all some of the fragrances, again, that I have been leaning towards a little bit more since the season has started. Girl, we've been hit for Bath & Body Works to these fragrance houses. Don't you all love this season when they start bringing out all of these gift sets? I love it, especially with that Sephora sale that's going on. Honey, I was in there like 54321 when they said, Rouge members, it's time. Okay, I was like, okay, sign me up. I'm online, I'm in store. I was there like yesterday, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead, let's jump right on into it. I have five gourmands, yes me, five gourmands, yes sis. And then I have five fragrances that you know if you've been following me for a while you all know what kind of fragrances i love we like them bold we like them sexy okay keep it clean but yes this is what i love so i'm going to go ahead and share those with you if you are new to the channel girl welcome 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 love to have you my new subscribers girl welcome welcome to the fam and to my ogs you know how i feel about you what it is how you doing how you be let's go ahead and jump on into it let go. Okay, so the first fragrance that I have been favoring, and of course it makes an appearance every year because I think it is a gorgeous, beautiful fragrance that is just timeless, honestly, and that is Dahlia. This is your creamy, musky tonka bean, and I love it, honey. This is appropriate for work. This is appropriate for a date. If you want to make a statement, this is a nice statement piece fragrance. I put this fragrance up there with Fairy Tale. I have loved it for years. Unfortunately, they have retired the fragrance, so you can still catch it. So I cannot say you don't, you won't necessarily get your hands on it, but this is an amazing fragrance. In this fragrance, you have Dahlia Petal, so a little bit of the floral aspect to it. You have Crisp Pear, which gives you a nice ripe pear. Pretty good. Praline Musk, there's the muskiness, and then you have Whipped Tonka Bean. So that's why I like to call it a creamy whipped tonka bean that's a little bit musky as well so it is amazing you cannot go wrong with this i love it the next one is kind of like your smoky vanilla okay and i know this is not everybody's cup of tea but when it came out i had to get it and yes it's been dropped again this year and I just can't get enough of it. And that is Wicked Vanilla Woods. This is last year's Halloween packaging. But this fragrance is stunning. Stunning. This is a sexier vanilla. This is not your overly sweet vanilla, but it's a nice rich vanilla with the woody aspect in it. And I love it. So you have Magical Vanilla, Glowing Amberwood, and Enchanted Pink Pepper. I'm a pink pepper girl through and through, honey. This one, they say Wicked Vanilla Woods. This is your sexy, mysterious, dark, sexy edge, okay? If you're trying to give a little sexiness, you want to put that thigh out just a little bit, honey. Amazing. Goes, goes so well, so well. If you have angel shares, oh my gosh, Killian's angel shares. If you have that fragrance, put this on with it. Girl, you'll stop traffic. <laughs> <laughs> now the next one this is your warm and cozy in a bottle okay and i have been using the hell out of this fragrance i'm telling you with um i think it's sol de janeiro's charosa 62's eau de parfum i have been killing that with this fragrance mist okay and that is snowflakes and cashmere this is your caramelized vanilla type fragrances she is so beautiful 
I cannot get enough of her. When they say back up on back up on back up, yeah, back up on back up on back up, I have of this fragrance. And that is because it is that real to me. I go through this like water, okay? I got to have it in my life and I have to wear it. I feel so good when I wear it. I feel sexy. My husband loves it. And whatever he loves, I'm going to wear the hell out of, okay? <laughs> so in this, you have vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and then frosted clementine. You get all of that. But honey, this makes the sweetest, coziest vanilla. Oh my goodness. And that clementine, I don't know. It set it off. It sets it off. Okay, sis? I'm telling you to jump on this. And if you have Charosa 62, if you have Charosa 62, whether it be the body mist or the eau de parfum, sis, sis, he won't be able to take his hands off you. He will not. I'll be damned if you won't be able to take your hands off yourself. The next one, again, warm and cozy vibes. I enjoy this all day long. I tend to wear this with coffee break and that's by Replica. And I also pair this with the only one and Ebony Woods. So good, so good, so good, so good. Okay. So that is vanilla mocha cream. Honey, ah, honey, 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 honey. Sit down with your cup of joe and you smelling like a cup of joe. You smelling like a latte. Okay. You don't have to worry about him asking for any cream in his coffee because, sis, you're going to be the froth, okay, for his coffee. <laughs> so in this, you got cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and then white tonka bean. That's exactly what this smells like. Exactly what this smells like. The coffee is not overly robust in it, but it is what it is. It smells like a nice cappuccino. It smells like a caramel macchiato, okay? Yes. The next one, I fell in love with this one this summer. This is one when I did my vlog, I slept on for a long, long time. Why did that, girl? Girl, sometimes we tend to do that. I have no idea why you just walk you just walk your ass right on by fragrances. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not even sure. But when I tell you I am so glad that I jumped on this for semi-annual sale, huh? Mm. Sunset Glow. Oh, my goodness. Sunset Glow, she is not just a summer fragrance. She is definitely a fall fragrance for me because this is like caramel in a bottle. I'm just going to tell you that. It is so super sexy, so stunning with a little bit of that coconut in it. I love this fragrance. So you have in here fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, and then dreamy moonflower along with caramelized vanilla. Baby, the caramelized vanilla and that fresh coconut with a little bit of hint of that cherry, you better shut your mouth. <sighs> Honey, it smells so doggone good to me, okay? If you want to be a nice caramelized treat, that's what this smells like. Nice caramelized vanilla. That's it with a little bit of coconut to spice that thing up. It smells really good. I love it. You cannot go wrong. If you see this, you usually see it around semi-annual sale. Scoop it up. Try it. It's going to be on discount. You cannot go wrong. Definitely a must-have in any woman's collection. Must-have. Yes. So, that is my five sexy, edgy, mysterious fragrances. Now moving on to these gourmands because I know the majority of my crew, they love gourmands, okay? So uh, let me go ahead and move on to this Snackalicious set, okay? So the very first one, and I have been saving this and holding it for dear life because I have not heard anyone say that this was coming out again, okay? And that is Raspberry Jam Donut. Sis, she is good. She is stunning to me, okay? Smells exactly like a raspberry jam donut. There is nothing else, no other way that we need to describe this other than the name, okay? So in this, you have wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and then warm, fluffy dough, okay? Warm, fluffy dough? Come on now. Warm, fluffy dough. <laughs> Girl, 
<sighs> if you want to be snacked on properly, and I mean properly, this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. We're going to go ahead and move on. <laughs> That want to get you in some trouble. <laughs> okay, so this next fragrance, I was so stoked to see they came back out with this fragrance. I do believe that they actually come back out every year. I am not sure. But last year was the first time that I ever, ever really wanted to try the fragrance because they had it out around semi-annual sale and I honestly slept on it during the fall season. So I, I was able to actually secure it in the body lotion for some reason. It was like Where's Waldo when it came to the actual shower gel, when it came to the fine fragrance mist. I just could not find it. I was only able to find the lotion. But, sis, don't you worry. When this year came out and they said, hey, this is coming back, your good sis went in there and picked it up with the quickness. And that was pumpkin pecan waffles. I love the candle, so I do not know why I was sleeping on this fragrance for so long. I love the body care just as much as I love the candle. This is your nice maple syrupy sort of fragrance with that nice waffle batter. I absolutely love it. You get a little bit of brown sugar in there and there is some remnants of a nice nutty smell and I absolutely love it. This is nice cozy weather appropriate. You know what I mean? And if you're looking for the cuddles, you want to snuggle up on the couch, Netflix and chill. This is the perfect fragrance. He would not stop sniffing you, okay? I'm just going to tell you the truth because I really love it. I honestly love to wear this when I have a nice thick cable knit blanket, turn the fireplace on, and find a nice movie to watch and just cuddle with my boot. I love this fragrance and I definitely recommend it. This can lean a little bit sickeningly sweet. So if you are not someone who loves overly sweet fragrances, then this may not be for you. But sis, if you love gourmand fragrances through and through, this is going to be right up your alley. I love it. The next one. Now, I fell in love with this fragrance over the summer. And this been my ride or die. And yes, ma'am, it was used during the summer. And guess when it's going to be used? It's going to be used in the fall. I'm not bold enough to do it for winter, but I am for sure going to use this in the fall. And that is Orange Vanilla Twist. Yes, sis, Orange Vanilla Twist. <laughs> I love it. This is your cream sickle, your orange cream sickle. That's all I can say. It's amazing. Yes, ma'am, I'm carrying it over. I wish somebody might. I wish somebody might say something to me other than you smell good. <laughs> but I love it. So in this fragrance, you got juicy orange there's a summer sherbet and then you got vanilla cream so i it is what it is sis i am going to wear it it is a nice warm and cozy fragrance in my opinion smells like a orange cream sickle with a little bit of shortbreadness to it and i love it the longer it sits the better it gets for me so i cannot wait to incorporate this into my fall season fragrance or wardrobe okay yes Okay, so this next fragrance, I could not wait to pull this baby out. When they said, hey, this is the first day of fall, I was in it like five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can really, for me, I can only wear this in the fall and winter. I'm going to tell you that. It seems to be a little bit too thick for me to bring out in the spring and the summer. That's real talk. And honey, 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 when it says... It is a straight up cherry pie. It's a straight up cherry pie. So this is sugar cherry crisp. And it smells just like a nice sugary, sweet, tart cherry pie. All of it rolled into one. Now this one doesn't necessarily have the notes on it. So I'm just going to tell you from my nose what is actually in here. So you do get a nice tart cherry in this fragrance and you have a doughy aspect as well with a little bit of sugar and I'm not going to say it's like a nice it's not like a brown sugar it is like a crystallized sugar and it smells so so delectable oh my goodness I love this fragrance I love it okay guys so the last fragrance in my top 10 fragrances that I am definitely going to be indulging in for this fall season is blueberry sugar pancakes i could not wait to add this one to my collection yes ma'am i slept on this one as well last year because i just didn't think that i wanted to smell anything like a blueberry maple pancake like the candle i literally thought 
that that's what it was last year. So I bypassed it all together. This year, I said, you know what, girl, go ahead and try it. What's the worst that can happen is that you don't like it. And to my surprise, there was absolutely no maple in this. And I said, yes, okay. And I actually got a blueberry sugary note. And then when I started to incorporate the body lotion as well as with the body mist, it smelled to me more like a nice blueberry pie. So I loved it. So in this fragrance, you have sugar blueberries, which you definitely get. They are very nice and juicy, sugary, sweet, sweet blueberries. And then you have fresh pancakes and caramel cream drizzle. Now the pancake batter is a nice cakey like smell, which kind of gives it a nice doughy aspect. Then you also get the caramel cream drizzle on top and I love it. So you literally get every note in this and I love this fragrance. Now I absolutely love this fragrance. Okay, guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. So tell me in the comments, what have you been enjoying this fall season? Okay, now, like I said before, these are just my top 10 of some that I have been wanting to take a deeper dive into, some that I've been getting reacquainted with, and some that just always make my list hunt. But you know, please believe that these are not just the only ones I'm going to enjoy. That would be a lie. <laughs> So tell me in the comments what you guys are enjoying and I would love to conversate. So I will catch you all in the next one. Love, peace, and blessings, guys.